he starts to strike up a little bit of a conversation, like, you know, like everything, I don't know what you're going through, everything's going to be okay. He starts kind of easing her, her mind a little bit. And, um, anyways, they end up, she allows him to sit down on the bench, they end up chatting, and he seems to be like a really nice, like kind of like a, a normal, a normal person. And they start having kind of decent, good conversation, and finally the man says, you know what? And he's like, well, he's like, I don't live too, too far from here. He's like, uh, would you like to come back and maybe have a cup of tea or something? And she's thinking, now she's a little bit caught off guard, like thinking, well, I don't know this man at all. And then she's like, well, then again, he's so kind and nice. And I mean, look at the way he's dressed and stuff. And he's, he seems normal. So she relents and says, okay, sure. So they start walking and about, you know, five minutes down the road, they turn the corner and the neighbor, they, she looks up and sees this really nice house. I mean, it wasn't like a mansion. It, it fit within its environment. But it was very well maintained. It seemed like, you know, a normal person would live there. So, again, her her fears of like going in with this man she didn't know started to subside. So they get in there, and he's like, "Please have a seat. You know, on the couch. I'll, I'll go make us some tea." So 